good one. Yo, what are you telling me? You're what good, brings yeah? you out here today then? Mate, I've been seeing what's been going on on the media and I keep up for myself to see is the media saying the truth? And I'm here right now, look at this, peaceful, people turned out, it's a mixed group as well. Like, you get me? So, I'm here because, like, I love this country, and so far, this is, uh, the, the, the rally is about uniting the kingdom. You get me? And that's what I'm about. That's what I'm about. And I love the values of the country as well, you get me? And what do you think about what's happening to Tommy? Mate, it's not right. Oh. So, I think, I, think it's, I, think, I think it's not right because at the end of the day, we've got the freedom of expression. Everyone deserves that right, you know, to exercise their right of freedom of speech and expression. Nobody should be suppressed. And uh, from what I've seen in the media, they say, oh, he's Islamophobic, but he's just calling out things as they are, all right? He's got Muslim friends, I've seen him chatting with them as well, okay? He's just calling out crime. He calls out crime in every race. White people commit crime, he talks about it. Black people commit crime, he talks about it. Muslims, Asian, anyone from Islam, he talks about it. He just speaks the truth. You get me? But uh, the narrative on the media is what, you know, it's not right, you know, it's not right. Yeah, don't, don't demonize a man that's been truthful. And right? what, do you, what do you think about Peter Lynch? Man. The grandfather. Bro, that was really sad. Really, really sad. Okay, because like, he said a few words, he got arrested. In my opinion, okay, let's say, fair enough, he gets arrested six months. <laughs> you know, six months old, just you get a warning, a sign, for two years, two years. And imagine, like, uh, a lot of rapists, yeah, a lot of rapists have been, have been let out on bail, yeah, like even the trial have been deferred to like two years down the, I'm like, bro, that is rape. And the murderers were set free. Imagine, <laughs> bro, it's a joke. Murderers set free, but someone coming out, and chatting like he, he wants his country's values to be, you know, to be restored. He wants his country to be, to be you know, uh, he wants the values to be upheld. And then he gets arrested for that. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. But who am I? I'm just a, a normal citizen out here. I love this country. That's why I'm here. Right, I'm Nigerian, but I came here because of the values, you know, the Christian values, uh, uh, the rules, the, the you know, the freedom and that. But if the freedom is being taken away, people need to come out, you know, peacefully. And um, let their, their opinions be heard. That's what I think. Cool. You know. And do you think Keir Starmer needs to be held accountable for all that's going on? Everybody needs to be held accountable for, for what they do that's wrong, you get me? Like, you know, so if people are like calling out something, then there must be, you know, say there's no uh, smoke without fire. So, so far people are saying a lot of things and uh, about Keir. And I think like there needs to be a discussion. Like, let's, let's talk about it. If Keir feels what he's doing is right, it's fine, all right? It's fine, but let's talk about it. Come out, address the people, let them know what's going on, but don't ignore people. Like, you were elected, you were chosen. Talk to your people, you're the leader, talk to them, don't run away. Imagine if I have a problem with my dad, I'd be like, Dad, I don't know what you're doing. My dad would be like, yo, what do you mean? I'd be like, Daddy, this is it. And then he'd be like, okay, let's talk, you get me? So I think here, you should talk to the people. There should be a discussion and uh, address the issues. Let's know. Cool, man. And you're live streaming. Yeah. You want to shout out? Where can people find you? Uh, I'm Shady Shay. S H A D Y S H A E. I make videos about the UK, so I'm an immigrant here. Eh? Uh, I mean, I'm British now, but like, I'm still learning about the culture and the country and things. So I share my experiences on my channel on like, the things that I like, the things that I see that are a bit different from my culture, and I'm just being positive. Uh, cool, man. On my channel. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. man. All the best, guys. Speak up, bro. Join our Patreon and get access to exclusive behind the scenes content. You can see everything behind the scenes. We're talking about mobile phones and how dangerous they are. Our podcasts, our guests. and any other bits that we pick up along the way that we don't put on the main channel. You can also see any bits that we do with the Defiance Record. So please do support us um, and just help us do what we do and thanks to everyone who does support us. But yeah, we could do with more help. Finally, 
consider coming down to our upcoming Resistance GB Live. We've got Kate Chemrani supported by Fantastic Freedom Band Whom by Fire. It's Thursday, 31st of October, down at Finsbury Park's Night Owl. Doors open 5.30. So we'll see you there.